In this video, we're going to cover an introduction to WebDriver I.O. WebDriver I.O. is a framework that provides bindings into Selenium so that we can write automated functional tests. There are two ways to run WebDriver I.O. One is through a normal node script. There's also a command line interface, which we'll get to in a later video. Today, we're going to be testing a landing page that we have for a visual regression testing email course, free online course that you can sign up for if you're interested. And we just want to do a little, a quick little test to see that our form works correctly. Here it says email can't be ad added because this is not a correct email address. But this is what we want to test, that when we enter the email into the form, it takes us to this page. I'll open up the command line. I'm going to make a new directory called test files. We'll go into that directory. And then the first thing I'll do is initialize a new NPM repo so that we can save our package dependencies. Now that we have our NPM module set up, the next thing we'll do is install WebDriver IO. I'm going to save it as a dependency, a dev dependency, so that if we want to install this same folder on another computer, it will get automatically installed. I'm also going to install another package called Selenium Standalone. And this will provide us a way to run a Selenium server locally. I'm going to install it globally so that we uh, can run it from the command line. There are other options for uh, not installing it globally that we can run through WebDriver IO, and we'll get into that in a later video. I'm going to go ahead and install Selenium standalone. So it downloads the Selenium web driver, or the, the Selenium servers that we need and the Chrome driver that we need as well. And then I will start Selenium standalone so that we have a Selenium server up and running so that WebDriver IO can use it. The next step, we'll go back to our, our command line. We're going to create a new directory called tests. And then we're going to edit a file called my first test. And then I'll go ahead and open that up in Sublime Text. Now that I have my file open, I'll refer back to the WebDriver IO documentation. And I'm just going to copy these three lines and explain what's going on there. So the first thing we do is we require the WebDriver IO module that's provided when we ran the WebDriver IO installation. The second thing we'll do is pass, uh, set up some options for our WebDriver IO Selenium instance. This is saying we want to start Chrome. And we're going to get a client by telling WebDriver IO we want to start a new remote session with uh, options in it. If we refer back to the documentation, you see the client needs to initialize itself. Here it's going to go to a URL, which is different from the one we want to go to. It's going to set a value in the search. It's going to click a button, then it's going to get the title. We're going to basically copy these steps. The only thing we're going to do is change our URL and the ID of the element we want, a different input, and then also the ID of the button that we're going to test. So I'm actually just going to copy this over and then come in here and change my URL. And then for my value, I'm going to go in and I want the value of this input box. So I'll go ahead and inspect that element. And you can see it has an ID of MCE email. If you're familiar with MailChimp, that's a MailChimp email input. And then instead of WebDriver IO, I'm going to say test at test.com. So there's two ways I can submit this form. I can click the button that says submit my first lesson today. See it has an ID there. Another option is to get the ID of the form itself. And instead of clicking the button, I'll hit send a submit form action and I'll pass in the ID. This is just a generic CSS selector. This could be a class. If you wanted it to be a class, it could just be an HTML element, whatever you want it to be. We're going to stick with IDs because they're very useful because the um, IDs don't change that often. We don't have to wait for the page to reload here. WebDriver IO is smart enough to figure that out for you. It isn't going to output that uh, title though. So we'll see what this title is. Okay, so now I have my test. The next thing I do is I go back into my terminal and I run my test. So you can see my title is Learn Visual Regression Testing with WebDriver IO. Both pages have the same title. So one other option we can do, because we can't really tell that uh, this has gone to the new page. So we're going to go back into our test. And instead of get title, we're going to just do uh, URL. These commands can be found in the API documentation. We'll search for URL and what we want is get URL. And then I'll change this to URL and we'll say the URL is URL. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run this again. 
And now you see here's my updated uh, URL with some information in it. So you can see it as actually changed. And that's my test.